Hi, my name is Damien Fay and I am the founder of personal finance website, Money to the Masses. In this video, I'm going to be talking about cash ISAs versus stocks and shares ISAs. Now, cash ISAs are savings products that pay interest, but also protect your money from tax as you won't have to pay tax on any interest you earn on the money within your ISA. Think of it as a tax-free savings account. However, while you can't lose money in a cash ISA, you won't earn much either. If you want easy access to your money, then the current best interest rates available are around 0.45% a year. If you were to lock your money away for long or without access to it, you can get nearer 1% interest a year. But that is only achievable if you lock your money away for up to five years. The problem is that inflation, which is currently running at 1.7% a year, will erode the real value of your savings over time. Inflation is a measure of how much prices rise over time. Now, the Office of National Statistics, the ONS, measures the price rises of services and goods, such as your grocery shop, to produce an official rate of inflation. If the rate of inflation exceeds the rate of interest you earn on your savings, which it currently does, it means that the purchasing power of your savings reduces over time. Or, in other words, if you use the money in your cash ISA to live on, your standard of living would drop over time. To mitigate the effects of inflation, you need your savings to grow in excess of inflation. But in today's low interest rate world, that is unlikely. One way to try and mitigate the effects of inflation is to invest your money instead. In doing so, you are trying to own assets that may benefit from a growing economy, which is one of the reasons we get inflation in the first place. A stocks and shares ISA allows you to invest your money. You can buy units in a fund, shares in a company, bonds or other investment assets. The prices of these assets can fall or rise, so you will be taking on more risk than you would with cash. Instead of earning interest, however, your returns will depend on rises in the asset prices combined with any income payments you receive. In other words, you have a chance to make more than you would with cash, but also a chance to make less or lose money. Stocks and shares ISAs are only suitable for those who do not need access to their money for at least five years but they give you the potential to grow your money in real terms and also allow you to shelter more of your profits and income from taxation.